Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, after reaching 78 degrees this afternoon, we are much cooler beginning Friday right on through the weekend. In the meantime, we're just cloudy and dry. It's a tranquil late day, early evening. No precipitation yet. Take a look outside and uh, gray skies down in Narragansett Town Beach. The tide is low. The water's mild compared to the air temperature. In fact, Ironically, this weekend, the water temperature will be warmer than the air temperature. Water running in the upper 60s. Air temperature uh, this weekend, only 60, 65. Looking at the surf, this is going to be an issue uh, Monday, Tuesday, potentially Wednesday of next week. Hurricane Teddy may be passing well offshore, so rips and, uh, and dangerous surf may be an issue all over again. We'll show you that hurricane in just a second. In the meantime, we need precipitation. Obviously, we need rain. There's really not much. Just some light showers during the overnight, late at night into early tomorrow morning, especially along the coastline. That uh, well-advertised chill that's on the way beginning uh, tomorrow and extending through the weekend. The late nights uh, should be rather chilly. And Hurricane Teddy out in the central Atlantic, it's been upgraded now to a Category 4 storm. We'll get a closer look in just a bit. Canopy of clouds overhead, no precipitation yet. But you see the leading edge of the remnant moisture from once uh, Hurricane Sally, and that'll graze the coastline overnight early tomorrow morning before pulling away during the afternoon hours. Take a look at the wider view in the satellite photo. Here is Florida, Gulf of Mexico, Central Atlantic now, Category 4 Hurricane Teddy. These winds now at 140 miles per hour. And the uh, forecast track uh, taking it uh, to the north and west near Bermuda again. May, could be a second hit for Bermuda this hurricane season. And then towards the Canadian Maritimes near Halifax uh, Monday night into Tuesday, several hundred miles east of New England. Obviously a track like that. We're going to want to watch it closely, but a lot of our computer guidance keeps it offshore, but close enough to be really kicking up the surf and the waves here early next week. And the Hurricane Center actually watching another system in uh, the Gulf of Mexico. What's left of Sally, a widespread area of rain across the mid-Atlantic. There's the center of low pressure from once um, Sally tracking north and east. A thrust of this will actually pass offshore. We could use some of that rain. You only get grazed with it. Notice next 24 hours, most of it offshore. But again, the south coast overnight early tomorrow morning, we'll get a few showers behind that chilly air pouring in for Friday night into the weekend. Want to go back to Hurricane Teddy and looking at our hurricane, uh, the uh, wave height forecast for early next week as the storm is near Nova Scotia. These big, big swells and surf approaching our waters Monday and into Tuesday. All right, closer to home, we're going to walk you through it overnight and through early tomorrow morning. You start to see some of that precipitation late at night. This is 6 o'clock in the morning, especially south and east of Providence. By noontime, most of it's gone. The clouds still linger. Look at the temperatures. Talk about cool. Any clearing probably reserved for late afternoon and early evening, and especially by Friday night. Clear skies and chilly. By 11 o'clock, it's only in the lower 50s. So for tomorrow morning, a cloudy start, some light Light rain showers, especially near the coastline, early, dry by late morning, but remaining mostly cloudy. And then during the afternoon, slow clearing, mid to late day, a breezy day. Boaters, it's a small craft advisory for a northeast wind. Temperatures only topping out in the mid-60s. Seven-day forecast shows your sunny but unseasonably cool weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Your daytime highs only 60, 65. The nights are chilly between 40 and 45. And here comes the surf and the big waves Monday and Tuesday of next week as Teddy passes offshore. Still want to watch that storm closely, but the threat may be more for Bermuda and the Canadian Maritimes. All right, Tony, thanks.